Greetings, Kickstarters. This is the great Fredini coming to you from Coney Island, Brooklyn, New York. I have my daughter Katya here, and we're going to demonstrate to you what it's like to be 3D scanned at the Scanorama. So if you're a backer of our campaign, this is what your experience will be like when you, you're 3D scanned. The first thing is, is we have our turntable down here, and you're going to be standing on this, and it will rotate slowly while we capture your three-dimensional image. So first thing, Katya, why don't you come take a pose on top of the turntable. And one of our concerns with 3D print, uh, 3D printing, the way it works is it builds up layer after layer of plastic on when it builds your model. So one of the things that really doesn't work is to have a pose with your arms straight out to the side because when it gets to this layer, there's nothing underneath it. So we always try to have our subjects pose with what we call a self-supporting pose. So arms on the hips, your arms folded, your arms like this, even you know your arms going slightly uphill. And the same goes for your chin. We want to have your chin have a little slight look upward, optimistically looking to the future. So try to take your pose. And, you know, with this pose, we, we'll just do something. We want to have your hands just cheated so it's a little bit flat on, against your body. It's okay to have it a little space. Um, and then chin up a little bit so you're looking a little bit upward. And now I'm going to start up my software. Relax for one moment while I get my, my scanning device, the Scanatron 3000 ready. We're going to fire up our software. And Katya, when I call action, you're going to hold your pose, okay? Take your pose, chin up high, and ready, action. Here we go. Now the way the scan works is we actually try to start your scan down by your feet and capture everything around your feet and then finish around your head. And if you look closely at the screen while you're doing this, you can see when we, where we have little black dots on the image, that's where we haven't grabbed the 3D data. Our software reconstruct me that we're working with, basically the Kinect shoots out an array of infrared dots. And every dot has a distance measurement from the camera. And the software is creating a 3D model of that. So, now that we've gotten to her feet, we're slowly panning up and the camera's grabbing all of the three-dimensional data and building, the software builds that model. So we're up to your torso, Katya. You can see the little speckles of darkness, that's what, when they fill in, we know we've got a good 3D image of her. And we're going to wrap up with getting her face top of her head. Last pass around. So it's almost gone back to daguerreotypes in the old days of photography where you have to really hold the pose for a little bit while we capture the image. Alright, and last pass, I'm going to just get your face one last time. For good luck. Now, you can relax, hang on one second, I'm going to help you down, and then let's take a look at your scan. Go ahead, come on down, and let's see what you look like in 3D. Wow, that's a nice one. Look at that. Beautiful. So you can see we have a nice clean mesh, 360 degrees around. This still requires a little bit of work to be 3D printable, but you can see we have a beautiful uh, skin of this. Right now there's nothing on the bottom, so this has to be turned into a solid 3D mask before we can print it. But uh, these holes are easily filled in with NetFab Basic, and uh, we're going to be off and running to our 3D printer. And that's what you can expect if you come out to Coney Island Scanorama to be scanned. This is a great Fredini. Thanks for watching, and please consider backing our Kickstarter project.
Thanks, Kickstarters. Let's make it happen.